today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this bear and how to create your own patterns. Today's design is a polar bear. So, we want this polar bear to be about one foot tall. And as you can see, the ears are gonna be gray and the muzzles are gonna be gray and the, the belly part's gonna be gray also. And I'm gonna be using some chunk of yarn. So this is the yarn I'm gonna be using. It's a size six bulky white yarn for cream. And I'm gonna be using a seven millimeter crochet hook. And for the body and the head and for everything, at least for most things, the first thing I'm gonna do is put six in a magic circle and see where I can go from there and just do trial and error and stuff until I get what I want. So, we want the body to be shaped like this. So it's wider here than up here. And then chest part is gonna be a separate piece. which I'm gonna make in gray yarn. The head is gonna be about the same size as the body. And that's gonna probably be about 30 stitches. So right now, I'll just say this is 30 stitches. And these arms and legs I'm thinking We'll start with 12 stitches. And the legs are gonna be one or two rows longer than arms. And they are gonna be 12 stitches also, most likely. So if this doesn't really work out, I can bring it to 10 to 14 stitches see what that is, that does for me. These ears are gonna be pretty much non-stuffed like balls. So it's gonna, so I'm gonna start with a magic circle, increase and then decrease and stuff. And then after I'll make a whole new piece for in here. So this is a separate piece. I'm just gonna use safety eyes for the eyes. And this nose, I'm just gonna embroider with black yarn. So I'll start crocheting, give you guys a time lapse, and write down the pattern, and you guys could use the pattern. It's free, and yeah, let's get to it. So I have <clears throat> finished increasing for the head, so this is now at 30 stitches, and I'm just going to single crochet in rounds until I want to start decreasing, which is where it will become the nice ball shape and we can start stuffing it. So for five rounds, I have single crocheted just around these 30 stitches, and this is what I have now, and I'm going to start decreasing just to make it a sphere, and then afterwards we can put the eyes and stuff in. So let's get back to it. Here 
I have two 20 millimeter safety eyes and their backs and uh, a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna insert the eyes on at about row like row seven, six to seven, wherever you think is best. So we're gonna count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna insert it after seven because it matches my stitches the best. So I'm gonna do this in here. Put it there. And the eyes should be relatively close together. So about three stitches apart. Once you're happy with where the eyes are, you can snap on the backs. So just get the back. And push it on there till it snaps. And over here, same thing. Grab your back. Body. I'm going to be starting by putting six single crochets in a magic circle. And by the way, for the body, we will be starting at the bottom. Go down here and we will work our way up to the neck. And like the head, we'll stop at 12 stitches so we can sew them on together. So put six single crochets into your magic circle. Okay, so there it is. And just like the head with the body, round one will be the same. Round two, Rounds two through five will also be the same. So, that's just gonna be the same. And you could crochet on using, using the pattern for the head until round five. Now that I've increased to, well, that's now 24. Because I made a little mistake before. Uh, now, to, so we can make it so he looks like he's sitting here. For one whole round, we're going to be single crocheting in the back loops only. So if this side's facing out for you, you would single crochet in these loops towards this way, not these ones. But if you're, if this side's going to be facing out for you, you'll do this one. So whichever one is going to be, whichever loop is going to be on the inside of your animal, then you want to single crochet into that loop all the way around until the end of the round. After you're done single crocheting that round, you'll be able to see this little ridge that it makes, which will make that like a corner, so your bear will be able to sit like this, with a flat bottom. And for the next three rows, we're going to be working just single crochet out here and then we'll start decreasing so see you there so now after all those single crochet rounds three of them 
we will be able to start decreasing. So to start decreasing, we will do two single crochets decrease, or in this case, since we want more of a round shape, we would do single crochet, decrease, single crochet. So round nine will be single crochet, decrease, then another single crochet, which would give us I decided that this chunky light blue would be better than gray and it matches pretty well with this and I think it'll just give it a little pop. For the blue that I put on here, I started on round 11. And when we start sewing the body onto the head, we want to squish the body in up here so we don't want stuffing up here so it can fit inside of this hole in the head just for a nice snug fit, just a nice distinct look, the change between the body and the head. So like this. This is also the most secure way that we can sew it. Because if we sew it just like all around here, all around here, it's just going to wobble. So putting this inside will make it more secure. So now with those done, we're going to start on the ears. And so this is how we're going to do the ears. So after some trial and error, the way to make an ear that looks like this. So it's hollow inside, but since we're not stuffing it, you could just flatten it and it'll curve in like a real bare ear. And afterwards, later, you just sew this flat and it'll just be a nice ear. So what I made up is five single crochets in a magic circle. So it'll be a little different than we've been doing. So now you're gonna to wanna to slip stitch and cut your yarn. And for the ears, you really wanna leave a long tail so you can sew it on cut. So that's it for the ears. And these will go on about here. So, with those pieces done, we're gonna move on to the snout or muzzle. So, for the snout or muzzle, we're gonna be making it very differently. So, we're gonna start off by making a slip knot. So, just like this. And we're gonna chain five. So 
but this is what you should have at the end of the first round of the muzzle. The next round, you're just gonna single crochet all around. And I'll see you at the end of that. At the end of that, just like everything else, you're gonna slip stitch and cut through them. You're gonna cut this really long so you can sew. Like, really long. So you want a really long tail to sew. And you are gonna put a little stuffing in this when you sew it onto the head. So right here, when you sew it on, you are gonna put some stuffing. But that's like while you're sewing. So next we're going to be making the arms, which will be the same as the legs, but the legs are going to be one row longer. So I'll see you there. So now I have created the pattern for the arm. And this arm is just six single crochets into a magic circle, and then you do six single crochet rounds. And then you just do a couple decreases. So just single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease for the eighth round. And then you'll single crochet it flat here. So you can get this nice finish to attach to the body. And you do not stuff this arm piece. You just get the tail from the magic ring and stuff it in to here. So the, the tail's compressed into this area and you, you'll have two of these arms now and next we're going to make the legs which are exactly like this. But unlike the arm, with the leg you are going to put a little bit of stuffing in it, but you only want to fill it up about halfway, so barely any stuffing. So we can have this leg have a little three dimension to it. We have all of these pieces, two arms, two legs, two ears, the snout, the head, and the body. So all we have left is to make the belly that's going to be right here. So you're going to start by making your slip knot. And after your slip knot, you are going to just like this you did for the snout, you're gonna chain six, but we're not gonna do six, we're gonna do seven this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it will be this tall plus all the rows we add to it. <coughs> so like we did with the snout, we're gonna single crochet all the way until we get here, starting the second one from the ear hook. So that will be six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, until you get to the slip knot. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do three in this in this slip, the slip knot. So we put three in there and we could tighten this again. And then we'll head back by doing five single crochets. Last one will be two simple crochets, so increase stitch. And that is our first.
first round of the belly. Our second round, instead of doing three increases at the end here, we're gonna get an increase three in one stitch, sorry. We are gonna do three increases right next to each other. So, So, now we're gonna get our tapestry needle to sew things on. So we're gonna thread the needle on the body. So see, the long tail I left on the body, I'm gonna have my needle threaded into that. And we are actually gonna bring it, see it's coming out of here, we're gonna bring it through here and out a little farther down because remember this top edge is going to go inside of that edge. so down here is where it's going to be peeking out so now we're just going to start it off at the, at the front here and we'll thread the needle through that stitch Not the very edge, but this stitch here on the body. Sorry, that's hard to see. And then we'll go back through here on the head. And back through here on the body. And then back through just the front loop on the head. This stitch, you can pull it tight. Okay, when you're back at the start, you're gonna thread the needle through into the back so it sticks out, and you can pull your arm through and trim it there. And now it's all in there. You could do the same thing with the string from the head. So you're gonna thread your needle, stick it through the neck, out the back, and trim. So I'll just push them down a little bit. But this is the main body of our polar bear. So next, we're going to grab this, the belly, and sew it on all the way from up here on the neck down to the ridge down here. So we're going to sew it on the same way as we did with the neck and head, just around using these, just the front loops, so here. guys back up when I finish sewing it on. So this is what you should have after you sew the belly on. Next we're going to be sewing the arms on. So see I have an arm right here. The arms are just going to be right. Let me get a shorter one so it's just easier to show. I can squash that one down but the arms are going to be right here. So you're gonna sew them on like this, like this one. So this is how the arms are gonna go on. And yeah, just sew those on like you sewed the other things. And make sure to put a little stitch right in here and keep the arms in here. So we'll do that right now. So this is what you should have after you sew the arms on. As you can see, I did sew them on right here with a little stitch to hold there. Next, we're gonna sew the legs on. 
which are just gonna go down here towards the sides. Like this. So I'll see you after I do that. So now we're gonna sew on the snout. And the snout is gonna go right here. Stop it in this snout here. So just put some in there and keep going. Next, we're gonna put the ears on. <coughs> Ears are gonna go right here and right here. <clears throat> and if you want, you could also squish this snout down so it gets a little more like a bear and it can cover the eyes a little bit. Okay, now you can put the ears on and it'll look more like a bear. So now just sew the ears on wherever they look good and make sure you sew this opening closed before you do that. See you after. Now that we have the ears on, all that we have left to do is put the nose. And the nose is just gonna be black embroidery. So you're just gonna put lines across in black around this area. And you'll fill in this. So I'll see you after that. I decided that for my bear, I was gonna put a line here for the mouth. But whatever you decide, after you do that, your bear's done. I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to make your own bear. And I hope it helped you to learn how to make your own patterns by using trial and error. It's gonna take a lot of patience. You might get angry, but Part of, the, part of the process, but eventually you'll get it. Bye.